Hi there, welcome back to session 5.4 Learn Excel from Karpakam. In this video, I am going to show you one of the most beautiful and powerful function in Excel, if and or function. Let's get started. When you look at the existing worksheet, I have got a table here which talks about the outlets and the sales. Now, what is that exactly I want to do here is, I want Excel to compare the sales with the restock status, which means when the sales hit less than 700, the particular stores need to be restocked immediately. This is what the condition I'm specifying. Let's see how this works here. Equal to if tab, what is the logical test? When this cell is lesser than this cell and specifically lock it because this is the only cell which it has to look for. Lock the cell by pressing function key F4. Once, comma, when it is true, what it should return. It should get me saying that restock it. If the sales is okay, then return it as empty. When I double click at it, you can see automatically it says these are all the stores which needs a immediate restocking because we have specified only when the sales is lesser than 700. You might be wondering when we have two data, how this exactly works. I'm going to specify two conditions and both the conditions must be met in order to get a true or false here. Let's go and do it here. Equal to A and D tab. What is the logical test? First logical test when the sales is lesser than the restock level, lock the cell by pressing F4 once, comma. What is the second one? Look at this particular cell. When the particular cell equals this cell, which means when you find cash payments, then highlight it. That's what we are saying. Return it true or false. When you find a cash and a cash, it's true. Cash and a credit, it becomes false here. And again, lock this particular cell. Close the bracket. Hit enter. So which means false. Both the conditions are not met. Here you can see the sales is 1016 as of now. So it does not require restocking. When I just drag it down, you can see it gives us true or false, true or false, true or false. Now, should we focus on restocking or not is the next question. What is the status? So what I'm going to do here, click on this and copy this formula. Control C, press escape key. Come here, equal to if function. Press Control V, the formula is copied. This is nothing but the logical test. When I press comma, it's on to the next one. So if it is there, give me restock or else give me wait. When the, both the conditions are not met, it will return as wait. You can see when I just drag it down, it says only for the three stores, we have to do a restocking for the every other stores we can wait here. In the third scenario, I'm going to specify three conditions here out of which any one of the condition needs to be met here. So as of now, I'm going to take only two condition and let's see how this works. Equal to or tab. What is the logical conditioning? I don't want to look at the stock level rather than I just want to look at payment and the customer status. When the cash equal to cash payment, lock the cell by pressing F4 once, comma. When the customer is an existing customer equal to an existing customer, lock the cell by pressing F4, close the bracket, hit enter. True. The customer is ready to pay a cash payment as well as the customer is an existing customer. Note that. So when I just double click at the pointer, you can see true or false, true or false. Now, now should we do the restocking or not? Go to this cell, copy the formula, control C escape key equal to if control p which is nothing but the logical test comma if it is true restock comma if it is false within double quotes if it is false wait so it says now you can see any one of the condition is met either they are an existing customer or they are ready to pay it in cash in this case, they are existing customer as well as they are ready to pay it in cash. Cash and a new customer. So we have set only one criteria, any one of the criteria is met. So it's a cash. And here you can see in the next scenario, cash as well as existing. Cash, cash and existing. Here it's a credit, but a existing customer restock it. 
So when you look at all these three scenario, every scenario gives us a different result based on the criteria what we specify. In the first case, we specified when the sales is lesser than 700, immediately restock. In the second condition, unless and until not only the sales, but they pay it in cash, don't restock it. Let the customer wait. So we are doing it only when there is a low stock as well as they are ready to pay it in a cash, low stock, cash. This is the second condition we had given. In the third condition, look for any of this two. Either we could have taken a sales or a payment or a payment and a customer status or whichever we want, we can take it. And in this case scenario, we have taken cash and the customer status as existing or new. So cash and existing. When any one of the condition is met, it is true. Based on that, we have got the result as restock. Yes, it's really interesting. I hope you have enjoyed the video. Thanks for joining. Stay tuned for more such videos. Good day.